Hello everyone, I'm Black Marvin, a progressive psychedelic trance artist, a professional sound designer, and I'm also a teacher for electronic music production. Today, we're going to make a melodic techno arpeggiator inside Pigments, and we're going to source the audio from the Virus TI. Of course, all that uh, sampling the virus thing is optional, but uh, that's kind of my latest buzz to work with high quality audio sources, drag them inside pigments and use the granular synthesis function of Vital to run that audio. That makes, uh, that makes the sound special, a bit more special than let's say working with a regular saw wave table. Before we dive in, if you're looking for some high quality presets for pigments, make sure you visit the pigments section on the Fractal Sound Store. There's some really cool presets for multiple genres and multiple styles. And it's also growing day by day. I'm adding a lot of content and I'm working on some really cool stuff. So make sure you go check that out. The link's in the description. Also, if you want more content about pigments, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. There's already a lot of pigments content on this channel and I'm preparing even more. And there's also some really cool updates that the guys at Arturia work on and I make sure to cover them all. So you won't miss anything if you stay tuned here on this channel. And now enough talking, more melodic techno arpeggiator inside pigments right now. So before going inside pigments, since I want to sample the virus and work with the virus TI sound, I'm going to go ahead and sample the virus TI. It's not an obligatory step. Uh, you can definitely just do everything that we're going to do inside pigments with a regular saw wave or a wavetable of your choice. But, um, yeah, I want to work with the good old Virus TI sound. So I want to bring it inside pigments using the granular synthesis. So let's go inside the virus and sample this baby. So I have the Virus TI here and by default, it opens with two oscillators at the same time. So two saw oscillators and I like the sound that it gives. And we're going to sample it like this. I'm going to get Edison and I'm going to sample a C note and a G note also. Usually C note is good, but G note uh, is good to have a source that is uh, also in between. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. First, the C note. That is a reasonable length. Now let's get the G note. And just by looking at this, you can see that there's some non-linear characteristics of the virus, uh, especially since now there's two oscillators at the same time. So by using the granular synthesis inside pigments, we are really going to be able to play with that by going through the sound source at different spaces. And it's going to help us achieve something that is non-linear. And that sounds uh, lively. So I have a virus C note and a virus G note. Probably the G note is going to be just in case, but I'm, I'm glad to have it. Now we're going to go inside pigments and start working on the arpeggiator. So I'm inside a new pigments preset here. I'm going to go ahead and sample. I'm going to go into granular mode already, and I'm going to drag and drop the saw note from the virus. And then this is what I have. So first, I'm just going to pick up the right density and the right grain size so I can have something that feels sustained and natural. Probably Turkey is going to be more uh, suitable for this. And then a bit of a higher random density. It's not the exact same sound. Um, it, it, the granular nature of it makes it different, but there's something really cool about it. it doesn't really sound like a normal saw wave. There's something warm. So we're also going to add some motion inside the sample start. I'm going to get an LFO. I'm going to get the waveform all the way to sample and old. I'm going to get the fade into smooth. And this is going to give me a random 
motion through here i'm also going to put unipolar in there so right now i basically have the sample start moving around like this but i'm also going to get yeah the slower so the sound is not going to be always the same <laughs> Now let's go to the sequencer. We're going to activate the sequence. I'm going to go at 116. You know, it's on, you know, just, just, just like that. It's on. And we're going to use a, you could like process it yourself, but we're going to use a feature of pigments that I like so much and it's using that random dicer here uh we're gonna get um a scale which is uh, we're gonna get the Dorian one which I, I like uh, a lot and it fits well melodic techno there's other scales that are really great for melodic techno now I'm gonna dial up some random values here on the dicer and it's gonna start generating some notes that are relevant to the Dorian scale let's do this So I hit the regenerate here and it uh, regenerated a new pattern. I was feeling it, yes, but not enough. Okay, so let's start uh, working with this. I'm going to go apply. Uh, there's some notes I like there, but uh, not all of them. So uh, I'm going to apply them here and work what I don't like. That works, that works. There's a vibe there for sure. Now let's do the same thing with the gate length. All right, that works. We're not going to put more than 16%. Uh, now let's work on the envelope uh, because it's a bit staccato. Uh, we're going to bring a bit more sustain maybe. That's great. And we can always automate that. I think I'm going to not use the sustain though. And I'm going to work on the DK a bit. Yeah, that works. That works fine. And, you know, we can always play with that, especially if you want to make the, the ARP evolve, you can play with that. Um, now I'm going to get envelope two on the filter and same pattern. I'm going to shape the envelope. Going to get a macro one set up on the filter and let's get the jupiter 8 filter one thing though that i forgot is that you need to have the arp on free running that's very important because otherwise it's gonna always re-trigger and if it's on free running, it's kind of doing its own thing, even though we're triggering the sequence. So you can hear it now that it's doing its own thing. It's making the song more lively. I'm going to readjust the pitch a bit. I'm going to get it more 
tight a bit. This is um, adding some randomness in the pitch. And if you want to emulate some sort of um, unison detune effect, you can always put more of that. But you want something that is close to not zero, but something like this. Now to the effects section. Uh, let's put in some reverb. Bit of delay. Now the delay section is it's quite important because the way it's going to bounce uh, it's going to create, in the arpeggiator, since it's in the same scale, it's going to create some interaction between the original note and the note that is bouncing. So it, it really brings more of that melodic techno vibe. We're going to squeeze in a good old multiband in there. So I played a bit with the attack and I have a nice sweet spot. And if you're trying to emulate analog since they tend to, they don't have uh, specifically fast attack sometimes they they're, they've been used with uh, lazy attacks long attacks um, and that's a great way to nail that sound and this is how the final result sounds <laughs> And there you have a very uh, basic but very effective template for a melodic techno arpeggiator. And now you can swap the source, uh, go back into the sequencer, work something else, or just add another second layer of a wavetable of another audio sample. Um, but yeah, you have something already cool and effective and you can expand that into a full track. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Pigments is definitely one of my favorite synths, and I really like that granular synthesis function. Of course, for more um, classic granular synthesis style, but I also lately, like I mentioned, found that you can drag in some high quality sound sources and work with that and make some really nice and unique synths. Also, if you want to learn more about electronic music production, you want to learn more about sound design, mixing, mastering, I run a community of students and there's a lot of educational content there. There are some one-to-one -one lessons, some group lessons, some presets and more. So if you're interested, you can slide into my DMs on Instagram and we can discuss about how we can help you reach your full potential. And you know, stay tuned on the channel. I'm going to see you soon in another video. Until then, happy producing. Cheers.